Hello guys and welcome back to Control. My name is Narcus and in this video we're gonna go save Philip. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go save Philip. Pretty sure Philip is up here. And along this way. There's Philip. Hello? Let's go save Philip. Alright, we took damage. Philip's dead. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Bollocks. Poor fucking Philip. The fuck happened to Philip though? Maybe Philip's alive. Maybe we shouldn't save Philip. Energy gain from headshots. I mean, we ain't got much, man. I did a big chunk of damage.
I keep trying to get that. Oh shit, there's holes. I'll get some health. some health oh it's moved Jesse no fucker damn damn Right, where you at, bro? Board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. Oh, well, let me grab it. Oh, we're dead. Three deaths. Less than ten minutes. No, just about ten minutes, so...
Fuck. Fuck. I'll grab some health real quick. Fuck you, bitch. Damn it. All we have to do is throw something at the fuck out. He dead now, though. Wait, there's no black pyramid here. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? What about fucking Philip? Philip's still dead, yo. He's dead. Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Philip's gone. It's your fault, bro. You left him in there for a whole day looking at a fridge. Did like fridge duty. You left him there staring at a fridge. Then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I fixed it. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? Fixed it. I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This clearly. may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always.
We haven't done any of this shit. We should probably do these, right? Let's go speak to Emily. It's four in it. It's three though. Nice. Go here, talk to this lady, talk to our brother, see what the fuck's going on. I apologize if you can hear any background noise, kid came down and the dryer's on and she left the door open, so I apologize. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code? Bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, What's the formation? A pile of rocks built by God knows who, but while well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls it. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. I can think of it. I guess they haven't come out. Back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research well, found out that it blocks paranormal stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, Dr. Darling. Not as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so. Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? I have no idea. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, 
They retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun, bro. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends a rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? No, probably not. Yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. Yeah, I see. Pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall. Marshall. Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know. Intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. Oscar. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. We're gonna get through this. How are you? I'm good. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? I'll try, man. The squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Hey, watch yourself out there. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? Where is he? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems... More in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. All right, we'll be careful. Well, be careful. Did you hear that the his prisoner they captured is the director's brother? Brother? And she brought him here? He's gonna get no. Don't get sloppy out there. I'm gonna find out where he is, right? Maybe he's upstairs. Apparently the director restored HRA production. 
They're already getting other survivors. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau. Great. I can't even remember where she said he was. To be back, I guess. Now, where's my brother? Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on the news from that Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Where is Dylan on the upper level? How do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying you saved them at night. Oh, there is. Don't be happy, he's not the same guy you knew. Think he does anymore. Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Oh yeah. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? True. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. The fuck is going on with our brother? I want to say them too. No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orangefield. Shit. Shit. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. 
in ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. They ruined my brother. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm here worms of tin. You can't stop humming in a dream. They, they, they. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Get rid of who? Oh, the person in my head, Polaris. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. How the fuck does he have a key card? Want it. Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. Did we get it? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. I don't know either. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. Nice. Glad for you. I was the only child. Wow. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? Alright. My brother's a psycho. I'm guessing we just picked up... He just gave us the key card because we ain't got it. Um, so, if you'd like to leave a comment, a like, or subscribe to the channel, that'd be fantastic. This video has been a little bit longer than expected. Uh, so yeah, please feel free to do any of those things. And if you've got any information or any tips on how to make, or suggestions on how to make the channel better, then feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, maybe integrate them into the channel at some point.
And also, don't forget to follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash narcus underscore oh one, where we do stream games over there as well. Um, last couple of videos we've done recently have been just me recording them and uploading them to YouTube. Uh, but we do stream over there anyway. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. Uh, I'm going to take it easy, so you take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.